Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing the last bit of the Dollar Tree Transformers, based on the Generation 1 1980s Transformers. And these figures do not transform. They are meant for display purposes. We're going to look at the front of the box. Nice artwork. Of Generation 1 Optimus. Transformers, more than meets the eye. Soundwave, save for the front. Other figures we already own. We got Optimus, Bumblebee, Megatron, now Soundwave, and Starscream. And these are a buck twenty-five at Dollar Tree. Are they worth the money for an exclusive this good? Yes. I like how they painted these figures. Looks really good. I love it. I wish the uh, blaster was a little bit more painted, but that is what it is. We we'll got Starscream. Same thing on the package in a Soundwave, except it says Starscream. And look at that head sculpt. Prepare to die, Autobots, before the might of Starscream. <laughs> and yeah, pretty good Starscream imitation. Other figures we got. And all the information, if you want to read it. Oh, it's made by Transformers Authentics. That's pretty cool. Same custom company that makes the Authentics Bravo. So now we're going to get our figures out of the packaging. We got Starscream out of the packaging. Pretty simple to open these. And now we're going to open up Soundwave. Soundwave Superior. Autobots Inferior. And I love some non-transforming toys as much as I like transforming toys. And these are pretty cool and pretty well articulated. It looks like he's going to press the button on his chest and leash, rumble, frenzy, Laserbeak, Buzzsaw, and Rabbat, Attack, Autobot, Destruction. And that's my best Soundwave impression, if I do say so myself. Why is this figure is really well painted, really well sculpted. But now for some comparisons with Soundwave, here is Lord Megatron. Soundwave, eradicate these Autobots as you command, Lord Megatron. And of course, here he is next to Optimus Prime, which I did paint the chest a little bit to make him more G1 accurate and be like, you, you and me, Megatron, one shall stand, one shall fall. Ugh. I'll get you next time, Optimus Prime. And yeah, that's Megatron. Last but not least, we got Bumblebee next to Soundwave. Squash, Bumblebee. You think you can take me, Soundwave? Ah, yeah. And yeah, they all look pretty good. But now we're going to do a comparison with Starscream. Here's Bumblebee. Megatron. Optimus. And Soundwave. And are these figures worth a buck twenty-five at a total of five bucks and twenty-five cents? Yes. These guys are worth the money. If you have a Dollar Tree in your area, I highly recommend you pick up these little display-based action figures. They are just so much fun to, 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 to show off and review. They don't have any articulation, but they're still pretty cool and fun. I highly recommend this set to any Transformers fan. I wasn't born around the 1980s, but I did... When I first watched the 1980s on VHS tape, I was sold by this cartoon. And since then, I have been a total fanboy of this cartoon ever since. And that's all there is to say for this video. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.